gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs>
to signal there for uh, fast per foot, you'll see how I use it to change. Whenever the zookeepers tell us, that's what we're gonna do. These yeah, animals listen, are okay? very dangerous. They look like big friendly guys, but they're quite dangerous. So. Wait, we're going inside? No, <laughs> even the zookeepers don't go inside with them. Oh, now you can come up a little closer, just don't go past me. Okay. Back in my day, when I was a zookeeper, this was the only species All that right, we trained. Right. Mm -hmm. We felt like training was too circusy, and yeah. we didn't want the animals to be circusy. We wanted them to be wild. Mm -hmm. But what we've learned is this training is really good for their mental health. It keeps mm -hmm. them stimulated and active, keeps their brain working. Mm -hmm. And it also uh, allows the keepers to get closer to the animals, have a relationship, understand the animals better, so mm -hmm. they can really tell when things aren't right, when the okay. animal's not feeling well or something's wrong. seen any armadillos since you've been in Florida? Uh, no. I think I know it all. Yeah, you know, like from the book, um, oh, okay. not the hippopotamus, not yeah. the anaesthetic, but not the armadillo. Yeah. There's a lot of armadillos on the side thing. of the road that have been hit by cars, Ooh. but if you're out at dusk, you tiny tend to see them wandering around. Really? They're pretty calm. Ooh, she's this, looking at the champagne The butt squishy. <laughs> this is the backbone, right? You know this bone right here? Uh -huh. This is the bone from a Tyrannosaurus rex. Whoa, that's wow. Nice. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a pretty big bird. And Pig just found it. <laughs> He's like, hey, want a party? <laughs> <laughs> on, a, on a dinosaur? Donald brought his five year old uh -huh. with him, and the poor kid was bored to death for 30 <laughs> minutes. And I thought after that, you know what? And a kid should never be bored at the zoo. So right. I took all that stuff on. Yeah. I redid my office and I've been doing it like this ever since. Oh, there you go. So I need your help. Uh, neither one of these guys have. No, I don't think so. He's a very clean rodent. Um, neither one of these guys have names, so I need you to come up with some names for them. All right. His name is gonna be Fluffy. Fluffy. That's an original one. I've never heard that one before. Fuzzball. Fluffy. This is Fuzzball. Fuzzball and Fluffy. Okay. Fuzzball and Fluffy. Let's find I'll some never water. let go of my finger. And his name is Toby. Toby. This thing will never get off of my finger. <laughs>
Tiger Trail. Yeah, it's really cool. The tigers can come out, walk over visitors' heads. They climb down in those trees. Wow. Tiger up here. That's a cool place to be. <laughs> they like it there because they can also look out the little windows up there at the yeah. other tigers. Red rat snake. Very nice. Can I touch it? Sure. You want to wash your hands after you've touched it. No, wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You don't have to touch it. So, this is one of the coolest pro zoo programs there is. It's called Land Snakes Alive. Uh -huh. Whenever a visitor reports a snake, our herp department comes. They have like a little ambulance. Uh -huh. And they will check to see if this thing has a microchip in it, which means we've caught it before and checked mm -hmm. it. And they will measure it, weigh it. They'll tell people how yeah. long ago we caught it, how much it's grown. Yeah. Do a little impromptu education program about no. snakes. Okay. If it's not uh, chipped, then they'll put a chip in it. will wow. show people. Probably put a microchip in it now. To see more from this trip, click the link to watch our complete Jacksonville travel vlog. Top Flight Family received complimentary airfare, hotel, meals, and activities. <laughs>